Lord Jesus. Father God, I ask that you would allow your word to go forth and use me as your mighty vessel. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Our scripture tonight is coming from Ephesians 1 and 3. It's a very simple scripture. As I was reading it, it just kind of like stood out to me. And I, I see when I wrote in my book, preach this. That's what I always do when I see something that I just need to really, you know, I feel that God is giving me to give to somebody. And I just write in there, preach this. But a lot of times when I say preach this, it just, it, it really talks to me. The scripture says, blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who hath blessed us all spiritually blessed in heavenly places in Christ. I want to read that again. Blessed be the God and the Father of the Lord Jesus Christ, who hath blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ. I want to read this out of the Daily Living Bible, and it says, I'm going to start in the first verse. How blessed is God, and what a blessing he is. He's the father of our master, Jesus Christ, and takes us to high, high, high places of blessings in him. Long before he laid down earth's foundation, he had all of us in mind. Mm, that did something to me. He had settled on us as the focus of his love. So he thought about me even when I didn't even know I was here. Mm, thank you, God. He settled on us the focus of his love to be made whole, W-H-O-L-E, and holy by his love. Long, long ago, before you were even thought about, before Mariana was even a city, mm, he decided to adopt us into his family through Jesus Christ. What pleasure he took in planning this. He wanted us to enter into the celebration of his lavish gift given by the hand of his beloved son. I really don't have a topic, but I guess if I just had to say one, I would just say, we're blessed. We're blessed. We are blessed beyond measures. I don't know about you, but you know, we it's a tradition that we get up and we just say, oh, God has brought us through this year, this whole year. And we, what, what preacher said, we got how many more days for? And we just be saying, a lot of times when we get up and speak, we just speak in a, a mess. I I'm, I'm just got to be real. Preacher, everything we said doesn't come from here. Mm-mm, mm-mm. But I, 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 I'm sincere tonight. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. And I, 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 I can't speak for you. I, I can only say that I hope you're blessed, but I'm blessed. And the reason why I know I'm blessed, because the word just told me that long time ago, long before I even knew who I was, that he took time out. Mm. to bless me. I, I ain't nobody now. But he took time out. He, he had me in mind. He had you in mind. And he didn't think about what you were going to do at that point in time. He just had you in mind to put that love in you to bless you. He has blessed me with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places. I don't know about you. Now, I'm going to explain to you what that means. When you are blessed, it don't mean you're driving a brand new car. When you are blessed, it doesn't mean that you can go to the bank and buy anything you want to buy. That's the result of a blessing. Those are not blessings. Those are the results of blessings. Blessed means that you are favored. Mm. Thank you, God. Blessed means that you are favored.
believeth with a certain status in the word. You can have seven children and all of them have good jobs. You're still not blessed. You're only blessed when you get into the word of God and live accordingly. And guess what? You've been given that power to do so. The word of God, the word of God says, and I was reading this, and I, this is where I got this from. It says, there are results of blessings. Now, the scripture says that God has blessed us with all spiritual things in heavenly places. But having cars and money and, and all these clothes, and that's not spiritual. I didn't say it was wrong, but I said it was not spiritual. When you have been enabled, empowered, endowed, when you have been given authority by God, that's blessings. When you have been in, endowed with the power, blessing means that you have been empowered to prosper. Now, I, what does empowered mean? You've been given the power to prosper. You've been given the power to have success. You've been given the power to go and get that car. The power, the authority is the blessing, not the car. It's the result of the blessings. Blessings serve as a guide and motivation to pursue a course of life within God. We chase after cars. We chase after men. We chase after women. We chase after prosperity. We chase after buying the most expensive hair. Put it in our heads. But that's not the blessings. Thank you, God. They are the results. What does it mean when somebody is empowered? It gives you legal authority. It gives you, legal means it's good by the law. It's, go, it, it, it's good. It's, it's been sealed. It's been approved. It means you've been given legal power and authority to. God gave us legal power and authority. Way back out there when he went to Calvary. So whether you know it or not, you've got some authority. You've been empowered, Chris. God is saying, Lois, mm, you are authorized dealer. Ford is authorized to sell Mercury. Ford is authorized to sell Lincoln. They've been given that approval to sell something that really wasn't. Girl, you helped me. That you helped me. You've been given the power to get some things. <laughs> and you know what that's called? Favor. Favor. You've been given the authority. You're an authorized dealer to have success. I, who says I can't have success? Chris, I've been authorized by the word of God to have success. I've been authorized by the word of God to speak the word to you. Now, I don't, it, it doesn't matter to me about you not wanting to hear it, but I'm an authorized carrier of the word. You didn't call me. God gave me that power to be an authorized dealer. And who in their right mind would be an authorized dealer and not use the power that you're given? What if Ford didn't sell Mercury Marquises? What if Ford didn't sell Lincoln? Oh, boy. Food Giant doesn't make Tyson chicken, but they're authorized to sell Tyson's chicken. And in the process of them being authorized to sell Tyson chicken, they're getting rich. They don't own a farm or cow. Steve Evans doesn't own the cow down in Texas, but he's authorized to sell all kinds of beef and steak. So what am I 
saying God has authorized you as an authorized dealer to speak his anointed word. Why can't you do it? Why can't we be authorized dealers? Mm, thank you, Lord. It serves you in the path of empowerment. And it means to be empowered. It means it's okay. I've been given that authority. You've been given the authority to pray. You've been given the authority to lay hands on folks. You've been given the authority to speak into somebody's life. You've been given the authority to carry the word. You've been given the authority to intercede. You've been given the authority to take control over your household. You've been given the authority to take control on your job. You stop waiting on folks. You have the power. You have the authority. How do I know? Because Ephesians 1 and 3 says, you have been blessed. In heavenly places. Lord, forgive me for not walking in your word, for not author, being an authorized dealer. It took me all this time to realize, Lord, you authorized. I'm authorized. Ain't about y'all, but I'm authorized to stand up to Mr. Pasco when he comes to me in the hallway. I'm not, and I'm not being, I'm not. I, the Bible teaches us to be submissive. But I'm an authorized dealer of his word. Stop you when you're going too far. According to the word, God gives you the power. We want to, we, you worried about Trump. You are authorized dealer. You are authorized dealer of the word. But you're giving Trump some power. You authorized to speak over Trump. You authorized to say what you need in your school district. You authorized to speak over your children. We can't pray in the school, but you authorized to go in there in the morning and not close your mouth with some oil in your hand. You authorized to go in your purse. You did a good job today, baby. Little about y'all. I'm authorized to put some oil on them. Even when they don't know they're being taught. I'm, te I'm telling you. I'm telling you. You have been authorized. You've been empowered. You've been given the power to. Bless is a word that talks about enablement from God. Enablement for material manifestation from God is not a spiritual blessing. So I want us to get in the understanding right now. All the stuff that you've already bought, Pastor Fred, on your tree. I didn't say don't do nothing with it. You were authorized to go buy it. You didn't steal it. You were authorized to go buy it. You were empowered to have the money to get it. You're also empowered to carry the word. You're also empowered to take care of God's house. You empowered. Pastor Ross get on my nerves. Lady make me sick. Some deacons get on my nerves. I ain't authorized to do that. I'm authorized to do what God told me to do. I'm, uh, I'm authorized to do what he has called lady to do. Because one thing that I know about the word of God, it will not fail. It will not fail. The word of God will be manifested. Ford didn't sell all those cars when they first started selling Ford. Mr. Henry Ford just sold one or two cars. But as, they, as he kept selling cars, and he kept looking how he could make those cars better, he kept, let me just put it in my words, I just keep reading that word. I just keep praying. I keep fasting. I keep praising God. I keep worshiping God. I just keep on doing what I'm doing. And every year I sell the word to somebody that didn't get the word last time. Ford is everywhere now because he didn't give up. They were given the power and they used it. They used that enablement to keep going. The power to keep praying for your children. The power to keep praying for your marriage. The power to keep praying for your job. I don't, I don't care if it don't come to church. You keep praying. You have the power. You're not the head of your household, women, but you show the head of your prayer. 
sometimes they put the pants over in the corner, Mac, and you have to go over there. You better go over there and start praying over the pants and speak life to those pants. Can't put them on, Pastor. Can't put the pants on. Can't put the pants on. But you sure can go over there and speak to nine pair of britches. You sure can go over there and speak to a pair of shoes sitting on the shelf like this right here. Drop it. Oh, 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 oh. Chris, I ain't shame. I'll do it in a minute. Go in there and put on the backside of the pillar. Because I'm an authorized dealer. I'm blessed. God blessed me to be an authorized dealer to that word. I promise to be blessed. God says, I promise to bless you. I promise to empower you. I promise to anoint you. In the word. He says, I'm going to give you enablement. I'm going to give you the ability. Mm. Thank you, God. I'm going to give you the ability to get where I need you to get to. God, what do you mean you're going to give me the ability? I already gave it to you. You have the ability to speak over anything Aaron, you need to be spoke of in your life. Now, do we always use the ability? We use the ability to go to work because we know that there's a paycheck coming. I don't care who, what, when, or where, the paycheck is coming. But sometimes when we're in the word of God and things just don't happen the way we want them to happen, we, we give up. You don't give up on the power of God. The word says, blessed be the God, the Father of the Lord, Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heaven and places. Your house is a heavenly place. Your job is a heavenly place. This house of God is a heavenly place. This is a heavenly place. I don't know about you, but as I started reading this a couple of weeks ago, I thought, God, I got some power. I got some power. Words have They get up and walk. Words get up and walk. Thank you, Lord. I'm going to give you some scriptures to show you why you're blessed. The Spirit of God says why you're empowered, how you're enabled. The Word of God says, and when I started looking up that word, I looked up ability, I looked up power, I looked up authority, I looked up an empowerment, and everything just went together. Authorized, empowered, enabled, legal permission. All of them had the same definition. <coughs> so I said, Lord God, I hear you. I hear you. Later said the other day, she always hit me. I still trust, I still trust God. Yeah, I still trust him. I learned that when Cameron was laid up there sick. I ain't quit yet. He showed me something. I still trust God. Thank you, God. We are baptized into the body of Christ, says 1 Corinthians 12, 13. And for one spirit, by one spirit, we are all baptized into one body, whether you are Jew or Gentile. So whether you be bonded or whether you are free, you have been all made to drink into one spirit. That's some power. That's some enablement. I'm covered by the blood. We become a child of God. Let me tell you something. That's, you, we can't take that lightly when you become a child of God. The word says, but as many as received him, to them he gave what? Power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe. I got some power because I am the son of God. Have much, but I'm Jane Bunny's daughter. I can go a long way on being Jane Bunny's daughter. Everybody knows Jane Bunny. Now, if I can go that far on being Jane Bunny's daughter, whoo, how much farther can I go in being the heir of God? I don't know about you, but I become Jesus' sister. You, that's my elder brother. You, I don't have any power. Oh, yeah, I got some power. I've been enabled. I've 
I've been endowed. Ah, thank you, God. I've been given some power. That's my brother. I used to take it lightly when I said Jesus is my brother. I, I used to take it lightly, but I don't take it lightly no more. As you get older, you know, some, some things just the light come on with, with, with some stuff. Light come on with some stuff as you get older. I don't take that lightly. Jesus is my brother, my elder brother. So definitely I've been empowered. The word also says we've been brought with a price and our life is not ours anymore. 1 Corinthians 6.19 says, what? Know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost, which is in you, which ye have of God, and you're not your own. For ye are bought with a price, therefore glorify God in your body, in your spirit, which is of God. You got some power. And Pastor Ross didn't give it to you. Pastor, nothing against you. Sometimes we, are, we don't understand where our power comes from. Your help, your help, that's your ability, that's your power, that's your enablement. He has empowered me to have peace with him. I had to be taught that, my son taught me that, Lord have mercy. No matter what's going on, he says we have peace with God. He says, Lord, peace I'm going to leave with you, peace I give unto you. Not like the world going to give it to you. Let not your heart be troubled. Lady Pastor, don't be afraid. Believe in me. Believe in my word. And if I've been empowered with the word, Chris, why am I going to not believe in something that I've been empowered with? I'm not going to drive my car if I don't think it's going to move. I'm not going to get in it in the morning, Barbara Ann, if I don't think it's going to go somewhere. So in order for me to get in it and move it, i got to believe in it, man. So in order for, order for Jesus to be my elder brother and for me to worship God and praise God and declare his word, I got to believe in it. And I can't believe in something that I don't trust in. I'm blessed. I believe that I'm blessed. I believe that Jesus is my elder brother so I can have it, Sheila. I ain't talking about no car. About some peace. I'm talking about some peace. I ain't talking about no house. I'm talking about some peace. He says we got inheritance. You're blessed because you got inheritance. All this stuff I'm telling you about ain't got nothing to do with no car, no job, nothing, nothing, nothing materialistic. He says we got inheritance. Ephesians 1 and 1 says, in whom also we have obtained an inheritance, being predestined before according to the purpose of him who worketh all things after the counsel of his own will. He wasn't even thought about it back then. Especially the Bible said a long, 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 long time ago. Mm, thank you, God. I got an inheritance from my brother. I got brothers ain't got nothing. And all I do is talk about Tojo, Skip, and Poe Boy. But oh, my elder brother. My elder brother, oh, thank you, God, for an elder brother. We have eternal life. We have eternal life. If you don't have eternal life, you're not blessed. You better wake up. If you are blessed, you have eternal life. You got to believe in that. I don't know about you, but I ain't walking around here. My dad will tell me in a minute, God, you're going straight to hell. I said, the devil is a lie. I ain't going to hell. Then we go do our usual battles. I ain't going. I ain't going. I don't believe I'm going. I believe in the word of God. I believe that God has empowered me to have the choice of where I want to go. And he's given me the ability and the authority to enter once I leave this world. And I'm going there. I'm going there because the word of God right here says, Ephesians 1 11 tells me that. He said, we have obtained an inheritance. I'm complete in Christ and have need of nothing save him. Colossians 2 and 10 says, and ye are complete. If you don't remember nothing I said tonight when you leave here, you are complete in him.
which is the head of all principality and all power. You better learn how to stand on some stuff. Get rid of some stuff. Throw some stuff out the way. It ain't going the way you want it to go. You better start praying and declaring the word of God. Because one thing I know for sure, not sure, but for sure, God will answer prayer. Ain't nothing Jane Buddy won't do for me because I'm his blood. How much more do you think that God will do for me? Jesus, his only begotten son. Yeah, 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 I'm just as important. I'm just as important because I have an inheritance and I'm blessed as I close. Hmm. He says, I'm his friend. I'm his friend. He says, we became a friend of God. John 15, 15 says, henceforth, I call you. I ain't no servant. I ain't no servant no more. No, you, you, you might be, but I'm not a servant anymore. For the servant knoweth not what the Lord doeth. He said, but I call you friend, my brain. Your friend, Deborah, your friend, Carolyn, your friend, Donita, your friend, Pastor. I call you a friend for all things that I have heard of my Father I have made known unto you. We're authorized to be Jesus' God's friend. Teresa, you are authorized. And let me tell you something. When you're authorized, you got to represent who you authorize. My brother works for Pepsi Cola, and he will not drink a Coke. He's not going to buy a Coke. You put a Coke in his car, and he just started going all off on me right there. Sometimes I just do it for the heck of it. You, you ain't getting hit. He believe in Pepsi. He said, every time you buy a Coke, you put me out of commission. Every time you buy a Coke, Lord, Pepsi's losing. Every time you go out there and witness for the enemy, say it again, Pastor. Misrepresenting. <laughs> and I'm going to tell you something. A lot of reason why we're going through is because we are misrepresenting. We're misrepresenting. We are blessed. We're blessed. I have a nephew that works for Ford. And he really had an encounter with his boss when he went and bought a Chevrolet truck, a Tahoe. He got to see the union and all that stuff, drove it right up on the lot. I mean, he got by with it, but I'm, this is what I'm saying. When you're a part of what you're a part of, you believe in that. Now, God that said that you were blessed. He said that you were blessed. Why am I going to misrepresent my blessing? I don't have it because I've been misrepresenting, Chris. So I've come to the realization to know that I'm misrepresenting. That's why I don't have it. I need to represent. I'm an heir. I, I, I'm an inheritance. I'm his friend. I'm Jesus' little sister. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. Whether you receive it or not, whether you know it or not, the word of God says you're blessed. Now, when you walk out of here, what you do with it is your own. But I'm blessed. My household is blessed. My children are blessed. My job is blessed. My grandchildren are blessed. My neighborhood is blessed. believe that. Things have to happen for me to get to that point. But I believe that. I don't care what it looks like to you in the morning, child. Better. You're blessed. You got some power. Use it. You have power. Use it. It's in the word. Shauna, it's in the word. You have the power. We're blessed. I wish y'all could just see this thing the way I see it. We are so blessed. I go home today and Sean was telling me about some little boy he knew in Fayetteville. They, that car blew up on him today. Young man, young man. 
You're blessed. You're blessed. Receive that word. And don't just sit on your blessings. Tell somebody about God. Tell somebody that, listen, you can be a friend of God. I'm a friend of God. You're a friend of God? Girl, you can be a friend of God? You couldn't sleep last night. Girl, let me tell you about peace. Peace I give with you. Peace I give unto you. God will give you peace. And remember, it's not about materialistic things. It's about the word of God and knowing that you are empowered to deliver the word of God. So you worried about somebody that don't want to hear you? Straighten up and fly right and talk right. Because you're blessed. That don't mean we don't fall. We fall. That song said, get back up. Get back up. Hear the word of God. One thing I know, the old folks used to sing the song said, won't he keep you? Ha! Yeah, he'll keep you. Be blessed.